Here comes the most beautiful part of a plant. Flowers. Yes, flowers. Aren't they beautiful? When we look at flowers, we automatically have a smile on our face. Isn't it? Yes. Most of them have a sweet fragrance. But that isn't the only purpose of the flowers. Means, that is not the important work of the flower. There is something more important than that. The main purpose of the flower is to produce seeds. Means to develop a new plant of the same kind. That means when the seeds of this flower is being sown, we get the same type of plant again. When the plants bear flowers, these flowers produce seed. Seeds are produced when the tiny grains called pollen. When the tiny grains called pollen move from one flower to another. The center part, can you see this flower? In the center part, there are something like grains. They are called pollen. Insects, flowers and wind help the flowers to do this. They help the pollen to be taken to the other flower. And that is how the seeds are formed. Most flowers grow into fruit. So can you see here? The seeds are sown and the germination takes pla place. And it grows. The pollination takes place. Means the insects carry the pollens from this plant to the other and again the seeds are formed. So it is the cycle, flowering plants life cycle. Now we shall see about fruits. Fruits have seeds inside them. A fruit is actually the case that protects the seeds. Means fruits act like a cover to protect the seeds. Fruits are soft and juicy. Cherries, apricots, mango, etc. have only one seed. Fruits like papaya, tomato and watermelon, muskmelon have lots of seed scattered throughout or in the center core. Means we find many seeds in these fruits. Raspberries, blackberries and custard apples are compound fruit. Each seed is contained in its own parcel of sweet flesh. Means there is a seed and it has a sweet flesh that we eat. They combine to form the fruit. Yes, when such seeds are combined together, it forms a fruit and this type of fruits are called compound fruit compound fruits children i want you all to complete the activity given on page number 28 there is name one fruit where you don't have to throw or discard the seed name any three dry fruits as well 
the work on the page number 24 the stem of the tree is called and the tree that takes the support of the wall or any stick what are they called complete that work also children thank you now we shall study about the seed what is the seed saying here I am a parcel of hope for new life I have everything needed to make a new plant yes when we sow the seed it is a hope for new plant so it says I am a parcel of hope for new life I have everything needed to make a new plant now we'll see what we find inside the seed this is the inner part of the seed here is a baby plant and this inner part is cotyledons and then the outer layer of the seed is seed coat outer layer of the seed is seed coat the structure of the seed or parts of a seed the outer covering is called seed coat as I told you the outer covering is called the seed coat and inside the seed coat there are cotyledons the inner part and this is the baby part or embryo embryo seed coat protects the inner part of the seed cotyledons supply food for the embryo so the seed coat protects the inner part of the seed and the cotyledons supply food to the baby plant and when the seed gets right amount of water air and temperature and warmth it develops into a small part it develops into a small plant and that small plant is called seedling and this stage of growth is called germination so when the small plant arrives outside when we sow the seed inside and we see that a small part of a plant has come out that is called seedling and that stage is called germination that seed that part is called germination the first stage of growth of seed is called germination